is Chris McIntyre, and I am the team manager of the customer success team here at Four of Golf Software. I've been with the company for almost, uh, it'll be two years in October, and I am extremely happy to be working for this wonderful company. Uh, today, I'll be demonstrating a couple of things to you in regards to some of the new T-Sheet features that we have released to some of our customers. Uh, we are extremely excited about these new features as we know that they will offer more tools and, and offer you more options for you to uh, help your customers to come back to your course, to offer them different options, different types of bookings, and to give you more control over when your customers can book tea times in the first place and what types of tea times that they can book. So we're really excited about to, to show you these features here today in the presentation. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Now, we understand the importance of the tea sheet to a golf course's operation. The more you can optimize your tea sheet, the better revenue that you have, the more options you can offer to your customers, and hopefully that ultimately results in greater revenue numbers for yourself. Now, with these new tea sheet features, we aim to do just that, to help you give more options to your customers and to maximize the revenue within your facility. So the different features that we're going to be covering today is going to be threefold. One is we're going to go over the different custom day templates that you can set up now with a new T-Sheet. Two is we're going to show you the option to set up a back nine booking. That is one of the features we're extremely excited about and that wasn't available previously. And the third option we love and are excited to introduce is split tea booking so that you can offer your customers more options in the morning tea times for booking a tea time. Okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about the online year setup, the one year setup. Now the idea behind this particular feature that we wanted to introduce was we wanted you to be able to sit down and have that planning meeting that you have at the beginning of the year where you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out what are we going to do for our customers this year? What are we going to offer them? And once you had those ideas from those meetings and you then took them back to actually apply them within the software, we wanted to make it as easy as possible to allow your customers to book tea times to where you could have thought out the entire year in one sit down meeting and then you could come to Forup and set up all of those things within one sit down meeting as well. Now, the, how we accomplished that was through the use of these different day templates where you can easily manage your calendar. You can color code it for easy visuals so that again, at the beginning of the year, you can just simply sit down look at your computer, look at your tea sheet and be able to say, okay, I'm confident that my customers will be able to book tea times when I want them to book those tea times for the entire year. Okay. So going on, we're going to go ahead and show you a couple of different easy ways to get this set up. All right. So on the computer here, we're going to go ahead and log into, uh, and go log into the course and go ahead and navigate to the settings page. Once we're on the settings page, we're going to navigate to T-Sheets. We're going to stay on T-Sheets and we're going to go ahead and click on the actions arrow over here on the far right and go into edit mode. From here, we are going to select online year setup, which is where we will be able to set up a couple of different day templates to help you better navigate and to set up your entire year setup. Now, one thing to note about this is that we are going to be operating off of a, uh, we are assuming an 18 hole facility uh, throughout this demonstration. So just a heads up on that. Okay. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to hit add day template. And we're going to go ahead and give this template a name. And for this one, we're going to set up what we would normally want our customers to do on, let's say our weekday bookings. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to change the template color. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my default settings. Now, for this one, I'm going to assume that I want the customers to be able to book the same from open to close on my weekdays. Okay, so here I'm just going to label this front and this back. And then what I'm going to do is set up those settings. So in this one, we're going to say that we want to allow the customers to have to book in at least a two or greater. We're also going to say that we're going to give them the option to either walk or ride. And we're also going to give them the option to do nine or 18 holes. However, what we're going to assume is that we only want to send customers off of the front nine. So we're going to keep the back nine turned off and hit save changes. That's all we need to do for this particular template. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and assign out this template to the various days. So we're going to go ahead and click on schedule dates. 
And we're going to assume that to, starting today through the end of our golf season, we want this particular template to be applied on all weekdays. So we're going to choose the days of the week we would like to apply that, and we're going to go through and choose an effective an effective end date. And for this one, we're going to assume the end of our season is going to be November 30th. Okay. So once we've made those date selections and we've chosen the days of the week that we would like to apply this template, we can come in here and hit Apply Schedule, give the software a second to update, and then you can see that we can easily notice that the new weekday template that we just created was applied to the applicable days of the calendar. So now I can rest easy and know that every single day that I see that purple color, I know that my customers are going to have to go off of the front nine, they have to book in a two or greater, they can book either nine or 18 holes and they have the option to choose to take carts or to walk. Okay. Now, some of the benefits that we see from these different settings is that you can more easily manage your T-sheet, that you have greater control over when your customers can book, right? So if we want them to be able to have a different template for the weekend, then we would just rinse and repeat exactly what we did, where we can say, I want to force them from the hours of 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. I want them to only be able to take a cart and I only want them to book nine or 18 holes. I can set those things up with the day templates. So our goal here and the why behind what we did with our T-sheet update is we wanted to put more tools in your hand. We wanted to give you those options to make it more easy for you to manage your T-sheet within the 4UP software. And we wanted to give you the ability to have greater capacity and hopefully to maximize your revenue for your customers so that you can have a more successful golf season yourself. Okay. Now, the next feature that we're extremely excited about is Back9 Booking. We have a couple of testimonials and other courses that we have worked with that have absolutely loved this setting that have implemented it. They have seen greater revenue numbers. They have seen happier customers that they've just been given more options to be able to book. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you a couple of ways that we can use these settings within 4UP, okay? Now, we're going to go back to pretty much where we were before. So just to kind of repeat that again, we're going to go to the settings module like I am here. I'm going to go under T-Sheets. Under T-Sheets again, we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode on the T-Sheet and we're going to add a new day template here. Now under this day template, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the back nine booking. So I'm gonna click on add day template, and I'm gonna call this one back nine as the name, and I'm gonna give this a fairly bright color because I wanna be able to see that very distinctly on my calendar. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a time frame, And I'm going to say from the hours of open until 9 a.m. and I assume that I'm opening at 7 a.m. So from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. for the first two hours of the day, I want my customers to be able to book off the front nine and book nine or 18 holes. But then as far as the back nine, I want to restrict it to where they, if they are booking off of the back nine, they can only book nine holes. Because again, we are trying to maximize the use of your T-sheet. That if we have customers going off the front nine in the first two hours of the day, we want to also give them the, the option to go off the back nine to again maximize your inventory and the revenue. So how we'll set this up is we're going to again give these names. I'm going to call this front and I'm going to call this back. On this back one, I'm going to put back nine only to remind myself that if they are going off the back nine, they're only going to do nine holes. And then I'm going to come in here and adjust the rest of these settings here. So I'm going to say at the end time, I'm going to select that as 7 a.m. Or excuse me, 9 a.m. Because that's when I want it to end. And we're going to say I want them to book either 9 or 18 holes off the front nine. I'm going to give the option of walking or riding. I want them to book in a two or greater. But then for the back nine, I'm also going to turn on allow back allow online booking. I'm going to have them book in at least a two or greater as well. I'm going to give them the option of both walking or riding, but my whole requirement is going to be nine holes only, which means from 7 a.m. from when I open until 9 a.m., I'm going to give my customers that option to book those nine holes. And then to set up the rest of it, what I can do is I am going to just simply duplicate this template. 
and I am going to come in here and set up the rest of my day. So I can then say that starting from 9 a.m. through the rest of the day, I'm going to allow my customers to go back to our normal settings where they're only booking 18 holes and they're going to only be able to go off the front nine so that I don't have anybody trying to golf over other people. Okay, so I'm going to save those settings and then I'm going to apply that. So let's say I wanted to apply this for just the weekends from here through the rest of the golf season. Go through, select the end of my golf season, hit apply schedule. And you'll notice, give it a second here, that now on our weekends, we know that we have given the option of our customers to be able to book off of the back nine. And if they are booking off of the back nine, they will only be able to book nine holes. Okay. Now again, some of the benefits that we see from this type of control and these different tools and options that you have is that you get to offer more inventory to your customers. Whereas previously, maybe you could only send customers off of the front nine and it didn't give you the option to send them off the back nine, so you were missing out on that potential revenue just because your customers couldn't book it in the first place. So now we've given you those tools in your tool belt to be able to do those types of things. We're also going to be able to get more customers out on the course, that more people are gonna be able to be exposed to your facility and have that great experience I know that you wanna give your customers so that they can come back and give you their return business. Now again, some of the whys behind we did this is that we, again, we wanted to increase the capacity and the revenue of your facility. We wanted to be able to offer more options to your golfers so that if somebody flew in and they said, I only have time to do nine holes in the morning and all the front nine was taken, that they would be able to book off of the back nine to give them those options so that we could hopefully maximize and give your customers the options that they would like to have when it comes to booking on your tee sheet. Now, the last part of the presentation today that I wanna to cover is gonna be the split T start. This is again, another one of the settings that we're extremely excited about that we think a lot of our customers are going to love. We have several customers that are using the split T functionality and it's giving them more flexibility. It's giving them the option to offer different formats to their golfers so that it's not necessarily the same thing every day to shake things up a bit and to help your customers uh, again, have more options and just more availability to them to be able to book tee times on your tee sheet. Okay. Now, we're going to demonstrate this one here. So we're going to go again under settings, under tee sheets, under tee sheets. Come here, come under edit under your tee sheet. We're going to come back here to online your setup. Now this time, we're going to set up a template that's going to allow us to do split tees. So I'm gonna call this one split T. I'm gonna give it a color, and I'm gonna give this one a bright color again so it's very apparent on my T-sheet. And now what I'm gonna do is set up the different time frames in order to accommodate a split T booking. So all we do is we're gonna click add time frame, and let's say we want from the hours of 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., we wanna be able to send customers off both the front and the back nine and allow them to do 18 holes. So. I'm gonna label this and we're gonna call it split T in both sides. And we're going to say our start time is going to be 7 a.m. End time, 9 a.m. And we are going to allow online booking off of the both front and back nine. We will again have them booking at least a two or greater. For this one, I'm gonna force everybody to ride. I don't want anybody to walk. And for the whole requirement, I'm going to require 18 holes. So that way we can have customers going off of both the front and back nine and, be, and only have the option to select 18 holes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new time frame. And for this one, I'm gonna call it crossover. That way we know that we are going to allow those customers to cross over for the next two hours. So we're gonna run this one from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And I'm not gonna allow anybody to book during that time to allow for the crossover. And then I would be able to add one more time frame on top of that where I can then go back to my normal booking. Okay. And then save changes. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the split T to a couple of different days. 
we're going to say we want this to go, let's say, every Saturday. And we're going to say we want that to go through the end of July, just as an example. We'll hit Apply Template. And now we can see very clearly the split T days that we have selected for Saturdays going through the end of August, the end of July, excuse me. Now, one of the greatest benefits that we have with these split T starts is to be able to maximize the number of 18 whole bookings you can have availability in your early morning hours of the day. We had one facility tell us that they love this functionality because they particularly use it on Thanksgiving where they want to be able to be open at the beginning of the day when customers are wanting to go out and do things with their family, but then they wanted to close down the facility to give their staff the opportunity to go home and spend uh, time with their, with their family. So with the split T functionality, they were able to absolutely maximize their revenue in the early hours of the day, that they had more 18 whole T times available at the beginning of the day to send their customers out onto the golf course. Now again, why did we do this? We wanted to put more tools in your hands we wanted you to offer more booking options to your customers. We wanted to maximize that revenue for you. So again, you had the flexibility that the software, that you weren't limited but limited by software capability, that you had just had to make the decision of whether or not you wanted to turn it on for yourself. We're so excited about these different features and about the new T-Sheet in general and all of the different capabilities that can do to give you more tools in your hand. Now overall, to kind of recap everything that we've talked about so far, where we went over how to set up our different day templates, we went over how to set up our back nine booking, we went over how to set up our split T bookings, all of these different things, again, we wanted to be able to maximize the revenue for your facility, for you to offer more inventory, more tea time options to your customers so that your customers can come and be able to golf at your facility more frequently, and again, to have those more options for themselves. Some of the other benefits we see is that there's better T-sheet management, that you can more easily manage your T-sheet from that calendar view and color code your T-sheet and your calendar so that you can more easily manage that, that you can do it all from the beginning of the year, that you don't have to worry about at the beginning of each month to think, oh, I need to make sure I have everything set up correctly for this next month. No, we want you to be able to do that at the beginning of the year so that you can worry about all the other things that you need to worry about during the rest of the year. We wanted you to be able to more easily add day templates on the fly, or maybe you had an upcoming tournament that you needed to change things up on as far as what your customers could book online and what they couldn't. You can easily add more day templates on the fly and apl easily apply them to your T-sheet. We wanted, again, to give your golfers more options to be able to book online, to give them more flexibility, and ultimately, we wanted you to be able to have those options so that you can invite your customers to come back, so you can maximize your revenue, your capacity, and overall provide a better experience for your golfers. I would greatly appreciate you being a part of my presentation today. I certainly had fun doing it. I hope that you felt a little bit of that excitement and passion that I have for, for, for the 4 of Golf software and some of the new features that we have for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions about uh, any of these new features, we highly recommend that you reach out to uh, your customer success manager or your account manager, that they would be more than happy to, to help you get these things set up and to uh, bring you over and give you more tools in your hands to be able to better maximize your T-sheet and be able to ultimately maximize the revenue that your facility has the capability of, of capturing. Thank you so much for attending my presentation today.